you can probably bring RTMP back in. I'll manage the camera for a little bit. Well, hello everybody and welcome to day two of the English Under-18 Championship. What a cracker we saw yesterday and we've got a lot of action coming up here too. Uh, I am very, very excited. Uh, Leah Rubano in this group just coming up to us now. We're going to catch up with her a little bit later as well. Now, so much content to bring you throughout the course of the day. We're here to hit the par 3 fifth right now. And uh, we've got another ball in the bunker down here. Wicked, wicked bunker. If you missed any of the action yesterday, it's still live across the England Golf social media channels. Do go check it out. And throughout the course of the day, we're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to stay live for the entire day, a full eight hours. We're going to have little breaks, of course, with the live leaderboard up on the screen. Got it, Leah. stuff. Whoa, good stuff. I've got Leah here as well. Do you want me to move? Are you alright? Um, yeah. Just moving out the way for Lee. live throughout the whole day across Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, LinkedIn. If you're watching on Twitter, do retweet. And if you want to have your say, comment below. We can see the comments we want to hear from you. Oh, great stuff, fist pump. Good stuff. Now, I think Leah Rubina is going to take a drop here. The ball is buried deep in that mound.
stuff and it drops.
Right, hello everybody, uh, welcome back there. We thought we had a bit of a sound issue, but the lot to say we are back live for day two of the English Under-18 Championship. And what a day we have in store for you. It is going to be an absolute cracker. Oh yes, it is. And a little bit of change at the top of the leaderboard as well. Uh, Mackenzie Lewis shot five under par yesterday. He has dropped a couple of shots though this morning. He went out quite early doors. And uh, he's dropped back by two, so he's now three under par. And uh, yeah, that does mean Dylan Shaw Radford and Sam Easterbrook, your joint leaders at four under par. Sam Easterbrook teed off 10, 15 minutes or so ago. He's currently out on the course now. And uh, we've decided to catch up, as you can see, ahead of us with our 920 tee timers, Seb Cave, Maggie Whitehead, and Zach Little. Seb Cave shot uh, four over yesterday. Maggie Whitehead was one over. And Zach Little level par. Now, it's slightly unique for us, we are going to stay live for the entire day today as well, all the way through. We're going to uh, have little breaks for and we'll pop the leaderboard up for you, but we're not going to cut off at all. Here is Maggie Whitehead in the bunker, and unfortunately, I think she's going to stay in the bunker too. We've seen this whole course and a few issues. If you were watching across YouTube, Twitter, uh, Twitch, LinkedIn, we were live a little bit earlier uh, just on those channels, and we did see Leah Rubano run into a little bit of trouble uh, with the mound here on the left. The ball dug in deep. She had to take a drop. And this par 5 third here at Woodall Spa on the Hodgkin Course National Golf Centre is causing all sorts of problems for these players. Now, any time throughout the course of the day you want to have your say, please do comment. We can see those comments. Uh, what a shot that is, by the way. Absolute beauty there. We can see your comments. Best place to make your comment is over on the England Golf YouTube channel. If you head on over there, hit subscribe, comment into the chat section we can show your comment on screen as well it is the best place to watch this coverage live of course wherever you're watching it though if you're on facebook wherever we will still be able to see your comments so hello welcome and tell us where you're watching from today it's saturday morning here we're at woodall spa we're on the hodgkin course what a glorious glorious day's golf we've got lined up for you so much action to bring We're not going anywhere. And of course, tomorrow is the final day's play as well. Great shot there by Maggie. Unfortunately, it's the second out. That would have been for par that shot. So she'll have that for a bogey. Started today at plus one. As I said before, stick with it throughout the day. We are going to stay a bit unique for us, actually. We normally break off and do multiple bits of different content. Go on, go on, push on. Oof. Uh, but today we're actually going to stay live throughout. We are going to pop the live leaderboard up on the screen for you in the little gaps in between. So much to bring you, though. Today is cut day, of course. Tomorrow, the final day of the English Under-18 Championship. 36 holes are going to be played. We are going to be there live for that one, too. Uh, we're going to break the content up a little bit tomorrow for you. But for today, we are sticking around live. Maggie Whitehead here. This will be for bogey, I believe, here at the par 5 third. Now, yesterday, we joined this group at the 12th, and each one of them went birdie, birdie, birdie. Yeah, 
and it drops it. A good clutch part actually for Maggie there. Could have been worse than that. She'd be disappointed with herself for not getting out of the bunker. However, I think when it's mattered, she's delivered there. So the fifth here, par three, 138 yards. It's the shortest hole on the Hodgkin course. If you want to find out more about England golf at any time during the broadcast, there is a link in the body of this broadcast. It will take you straight through to the England golf homepage. So much going on. You can also access the live leaderboard that way too. In it drops. Uh, there we go. Uh, Leon, how do you think Signal will hold up having heading over to six? Do you think we'll be good? Fantastic. We're going to walk with this group. We're going to head over to the sixth and follow them down, actually, uh, the sixth hole. Uh, another opportunity. It is a, a par five. It's actually an interesting hole. It's stroke index one. So it's a, it's a tough old hole. As we know, the Hotchkin course here, the National Golf Centre, Woodall Spa, is a difficult, difficult beast indeed. Very difficult to tame. 142 bunkers. Yes, you heard me right. 142. Whilst we make our way over, let's just pop the leaderboard up so you can see how things are looking. So, uh, as you can see from the leaderboard, Tyler Weaver now four under as well. Dylan Shaw, Radford, Sam Easterbrook, four under, all going well there. What is going to be that winning score tomorrow? Oh, look, there's a little, oh, I've just missed it. There was a little animal just running across. I'm not sure what it is. What is that? It's a... I think it's a rover. A rover? Roebuck. Oh, roebuck, yes. Yeah, I've got no tail. I yeah. I might be wrong, but... I'm not up in my wildlife, unfortunately. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, not bad. How are you? Good man. <laughs> okay, plays on the sixth tee here. Let's just take that leaderboard down. Is uh, par five stroke index one here on the Hodgkin course? Oh no, sorry, par four. Apologies, looking at the wrong uh, wrong hole here. So we are here now live, as you can see, at the sixth, day two of the English Under-18 Championship. Seb Cave, Maggie Whitehead and Zach Little. Seb Cave out of Coxmoor, Maggie Whitehead out of uh, Close House, Zach Little out of West Hearts. down there's a lovely little spot actually at the end of the sixth where we can capture a lot of the action we had so much content for you yesterday we had a little look behind the scenes up at the driving range yesterday do go back and watch all of the content we filmed yesterday stays where it is we've got a lot of action shots a lot of clips too i'm just driving down but as you can see here at live sport now we are live sport now broadcasting with england golf of course so www.livesportnow.uk do check it out we give you the fans eye view we walk the course with the players there's no studio for us the course is our studio and we capture every emotion live as it happens there in the moment there's no filtering there's no editing it happens right in front of you so maggie whitehead driver in hand tight track here on the hodgkin course at national golf center with spa wind is picking up today as well Beautiful stuff. I'm going to pick uh, Leon, our cameraman, up whilst the ball goes down. I think Maggie will be happy with that. She'll be a little bit disappointed. We'll catch up with Maggie shortly, but uh, let's wait till she gets like a birdie or par, shall we? <laughs> now, yesterday, Mackenzie Lewis, 
five under par. He was the overnight leader. He's uh, not having quite the easy time of it today. He's dropped a couple of shots, but yesterday we caught up with him at the first hole. And uh, he said to me, he said, Ian, I just want to piece together a decent round. Well, he certainly did that. Here's Mackenzie Lewis at the first, ahead of his opening round yesterday morning. Here's what he had to say. Roll V2. Tell me a story. Um, just been practising still, waiting for a good result. It's coming. Pardon? Could be this weekend. Yeah, it could Who be, knows? yeah. It could be, yeah. What sort of, how much practice have you done coming into this event then? Um, I've, done, I've been working hard over the past couple of weeks and, and months. Um, but I've had GCSEs, so... I'm glad they're finished now, so now I can so concentrate on the golf. Done. So, yeah, all I've done heard, now, yeah. I've, yeah. I've heard, I've seen quite a lot on Facebook, across social media, a lot yeah. of players. GSSC's done, now you can just relax, get yeah. into the golf. Exactly. Get, get, start I sh- I start grinding. I shouldn't say it, but get into the important stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. I didn't say that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Best of luck, yeah, mate. See you later. to There is Maggie Whitehead there. If you are watching this across social media, please do like, comment, and share. It makes a big difference. This is the English Under-18 Championship. It's the future of the game of golf. It really is. You're going to hear a lot of these players over the next 10 years or so. Remember where you first saw them live. Show them support as well by getting in touch with us here. Do comment. We can see those comments. Best place to uh, do that is in the chat section, actually, on the England Golf YouTube channel. There is a link in the body of this broadcast. It will take you straight through there. It's Saturday, the 25th of June. It's day two here on the Hodgkin Course National Golf Centre, Woodall Spa, the English Under-18 Championship, the second edition last year. We were at Farnham Golf Club for a dramatic finish as Jensen Forrester became champion. We're going to catch up with him a little bit later. He had a good round yesterday, two under par. He's in the mix right now. He's only now two off the lead. Tyler Weaver, Dylan Shaw, Radford, Sam Easterbrook, all tied at the top four under par. There is a lot to play for. None of these players are out of contention. They'll all be trying to get here tomorrow where they'll be playing 36 holes. Right, I'm going to just pop over here because uh, so if you are just joining us, hello, welcome, 9.20 tea time, we're currently with Sev Cave, Maggie Whitehead and Zach Little. Stop, stop, stop. It's on the green. I just wonder if it's rolled back a little bit. We've got a real difficult shot over there on the bunker on the right. Leon, if you have a pop over when you can, really look at that bunker. That is brutal. It's a good effort. There's not really a lot you can do from there other than that. And he did exactly that. So good stuff indeed. 142 bunkers here, as we've said. This is a test and a half, isn't it? Maggie Whitehead had driver out. And uh, I'm not too sure where it rested up. We'll go have a little look. Oh, right in the middle of the fairway. Great shot by Maggie Whitehead. Bogey at the fifth. She'll be looking to bounce back quickly. She's got a good chance over here as well. You can probably see from the flag, the wind is billowing quite a bit. But what a drive that was from Maggie Whitehead. My word. Get up, get up. 
don't roll back. Great shot from Maggie. She's got a good chance to bounce back here. As you can see the green at six oh, slopes into a two tier. And as we see, we've got the third shot coming up here. This is uh, from out of the bunker. It was a great effort, actually. It's a steep, steep bunker. Not really a lot you can do. He's done a good job to get it there, push on, get it close. And he got an opportunity to save par here, par four, sixth on the Hotchkin. It would be a little bit close, as you can see, looking at the emotion of these players is fantastic to see. We said it once, we said it twice, we will say it again. It is every emotion captured life. This is the very best of English golf here, the English Under-18 Championship live for you. It's day two. Tomorrow we have a 36-hole shootout and we will have your champions crowned. Who are they going to be? Well, you're going to find out. Liam's going to head straight to the green for you to give you the best shots. We are live on the course. There's no studio for us. We walk side by side with the players. Too lazy to walk. Now, over here, uh, Leon, if you come to me, I'm joined by Nicola Whitehead, Maggie's mum. You must be a very proud mum, aren't you, Maggie? I what am. a year she's been having, hasn't she? She has, she has, and she's just finished her GCSE, so a lot on her mind, but she can free her mind up now and play golf. But she's um, she's played throughout, you know, the this last six months, and I didn't know how she would, she would deal with it, but she's dealt with it well, and she's yeah. having a great time, and... I can see she's she's playing a lot freer, you know, this last couple of days. So, yeah, but massively proud of her. Oh, and what the, a life. It's the, it, what a life it mm. is. And it's just the levels of maturity at this age. I mean, yeah. when I was their age, I can't even tell the stories, <laughs> but it, they're a different breed, aren't they? <laughs> they are, they are. And she loves these two as well. She loves she loves Zach, she loves Seb. Yeah. So she's just having a great time. I can tell she's playing with freedom, you know, and yeah. it makes a difference, makes a big difference. So. And of course you want to be here tomorrow, don't you? Absolutely. Definitely. It's tough. It's tough to be in the top 40, but we'll see how today goes. But the wind's going to get up this afternoon, so I yep. don't think there'll be, you know, many. Well, we'll see. We'll you see. Please, she's gone out now then. Definitely. It, it's a little bit more windy than I thought, but it's fine. She's, she's playing nicely, so we can keep our fingers crossed. I'll see you tomorrow, Nicola. Hopefully. Hopefully. You will. Don't tell fate, but hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's get back to the on course action there.
Right, there they go. We're actually going to stay here. We're going to let this group head off now. Uh, we're going to stay here just for one more group to come through at the 6th. A uh, bit of action just going across this adjacent from us as well. Actually, here's to catch up with that whilst it goes on there. And whilst it does happen, actually, the, the lead ball, let's give it a quick mention before four under par, currently leading the way at the minute. Uh, top 40 go through to tomorrow, 36 hole shootout. We are again going to be live for that. That is going to be an absolute cracker. We're going to stay live. The coverage is going to stay on all throughout the day as well. Once we break off, we're just going to pop the leaderboard up for you for a little bit. Whilst we make our way around, of course, we've got some exclusive behind the scenes content to bring you. We've got an exclusive look at Woodall Spa to bring you later today as well. I'm delighted to say we're going to be joined by some of the members. We've got more player interviews coming up for you. So much content to bring you throughout the course of today. Uh, I think we actually have the England Golf Young Ambassador, Emily Horstead, uh, near us too. So I might be able to grab a word with her. This group cracking on now. Ah, it's Morgan again. Hi. How's it going, Morgan? You alright? How's it going out there? Um, two over today. Um, pretty terrible start. Three over through three. And um, just bogeyed probably the easiest all on the course. But, ah. you know, it's, I've, I've actually done pretty well considering, to be fair. Like, yeah. my game's not firing. Like, I just, it feels really tough as well. Even though we woke up at five o'clock, we didn't miss the wind. So, we can say wind's picked up. It's only going to get worse though, so you never know. Yeah. St stick in it, yeah. right? It's yeah. a long way to go. Well, yeah, there isn't a huge amount to yeah. go, but keep going yeah. anyway. Yeah. Thanks, Morgan. We'll let you crack on. Uh, let these players go. I think I've seen Emily Horstead over here. It's the 16th, by the way. They've just finished up being here. Yeah. Emily. Is that Emily? She uh, does the social media yeah. stuff. Now, I'm delighted to say over here, Emily, how are you doing? Emily Horsted, Young Ambassador England Golf. How are you? It's great Hello, to see you, by the way. Thank you. How are you? Yes, it's not too bad. I'm very good, actually. We did a podcast recently together as yes, well. Yes, we the, did. The Junior Golf. Are you having a good time here at Woodhouse Bar? I am. I am having a very good time, getting a few shots. Nice to see some golf as well. So. It's, it's wonderful stuff. So what, what is your role as Young Ambassador with England Golf? What does it actually comprise? So I'm, I'm part of the social media team for the Young Ambassadors. Yeah. So it's kind of pulling together bits of what we've been up to as Young Ambassadors, but also taking kind of events. So it's like we did a bit on the Masters and things like oh, that, nice. and doing a bit and putting out there. So sort of displaying more junior golf. They didn't take you out to the Masters, did they? No, no, no. <laughs> it wasn't quite lucky enough for that one. No, just doing doing little bits and pieces and yes, had had a good weekend this weekend, sort of helping and doing a bit of social media up here. You do an Instagram takeovers, I mean you check it out, head over to England Golf Instagram page, do check it out. A lot of lot of content Absolutely. to collect, isn't there? Yeah, there's a lot of content. We did quite a bit yesterday out on the course. So yeah, go check it out and see what we've been up to. Quite tricky conditions today, isn't it? Quite a lot of wind. How's yeah. that? And we think it's only going to get worse. Definitely an advantage to go out this morning, do you think? Definitely an advantage this morning. It's kind of the wind got up a little bit lunchtime yesterday, but it's a definitely a bit of a stronger breeze today. It certainly is. Emily, we'll probably catch up later. Oh, Thanks definitely. so much for talking to us. No, it's no lovely problem. to see you. And really you. good to see you. You take care. Um, right, let's. We are going to turn attention back actually to six once this group have just teed off. Uh, we've got Morgan. This is the group we caught up with yesterday, actually. It's not one of our feature groups, but uh, whilst we're here anyway, we may as well just watch them tee off, won't we? Uh, I can see it is. It's actually the second tee time of the day, 7-10. Uh, Mika Blows, Madeline Smith and Morgan Blythe here at 16. Here is Madeline Smith. We actually spoke to her yesterday, too.
shot. So we're going to have more in to tee off now. Madeline, would I do that to you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, we're going to make our way back to six now because uh, we've got the group behind. So that was uh, this group here of Mika Blow is uh, Morgan Blythe and Madeline Smith. They're just teeing off at 16. Their second round's coming to, uh, starting to come to a close. We're just going to watch the action here back at the sixth before we are going to, uh, we're going to leave the leaderboard. Like I said, we're actually going to stay live. Normally we cut off, break the content into segments, but we're just going to keep it live for you today all throughout the day. So just pop it on, just leave it on in the background. We're going to run the leaderboard for you, but we've got so much content to bring you throughout the course of today. We've just heard there uh, from Emily Horstead, the uh, England Golf Young Ambassador. We spoke to uh, Nicola Whitehead as well. That's Maggie Whitehead's mum too. Uh, we've just heard from Morgan Blythe as well. And uh, this is a group we saw yesterday as well. Gemma Burgess, Daniel Hayes and Emily Peaford teed off at 9.30 here on the 6th green, the par 4 6th here on the Hodgkin course at National Golf Centre Woodall Spa. It is live, the English Under-18 Championship and what a tournament we have in store for you. Day 2, top 40 go through to tomorrow's final where it's a 36-hole playoff. Well, it's not a 36-hole playoff, it's just a 36-hole stroke play on the final day 72 holes total who is going to be the champion Jensen Forrest the defending champion he's in the field he tees off uh, just after 12 o'clock I believe he's at two under he's in the mix but it's really really starting to get quite windy now in fact if anything it's uh, I left my mid layer in the hotel room thinking it was going to be quite hot today and although it's not exactly cold it's not the warmest of the warms either so this is Gemma Burgess here. Just balls come to rest on the semi. It's got to go up. It, you might not be able to see it on camera, but it was a steep uphill climb for the first sort of five or six feet. Then it levels out. Both players have got a long way to go. Remember, do comment below as well. Head on over to uh, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, LinkedIn. And it's a bit short there from Emily Peaford. So Gemma Burgess started today, six over. Daniel Hayes at seven, Emily also at seven over. There's still a lot of golf to be played though. You've got to stay in this. Top 40 go through, but the wind is picking up. The weather's going to get worse this afternoon. You're still in this. Two hit drops, nice. 
Right, as I said before, uh, we are going to, uh, Leon and I are going to go grab a nice uh, cup of coffee, but we're not going to break the broadcast. We're going to pop the live leaderboard up for you. We're not going to cut at all today. We're going to stay live throughout the day. Uh, we will put text on the, on the screen so you'll know when the next main bit of show is coming up, when we're going to be out. And of course, if I could get my words out, that is. So don't go far at all. And in fact, just pop it on the background or on Facebook or on YouTube or on Twitch or on Twitter or on LinkedIn. If you like what you've seen so far, want to find out more about England golf, there is a link in the body of this broadcast. Do click it. It will take you straight to You can also access the leaderboard that way too. We're going to pop sort of the top 10 or so on and it's going to auto update so you'll be able to keep track of it there. If you want to look a little bit further down the field, head over to the England golf website. It's a good place to do it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the England golf YouTube channel as well to, uh, to watch even bigger and better cast it to your tv as well why not so we're going to be live all throughout day two of the english under 18 championship now before we just head off of course don't worry we are going to come back for more on course action you're going to see jensen forrest the defending champion in the next broadcast you're going to see dylan shaw radford who is currently the four under par so much to bring you live over the course of today and of course tomorrow as well just conscious got some balls coming on the sixth here as well and some players just heading up to 15. Uh, we're going to head off uh, well before we do that though we've got a little video to play for you about england golf and junior golf strategy as you can see this is the english under 18 championship this is really about growing the game these are the future stars of england golf and they are doing so so much to grow the game here's a little video to play for you of england golf junior strategy we'll see you soon back out on the course roll bt Increasing the profile of golf in schools and communities. Supporting the transition from programmes into club-based activity. Developing the workforce, supporting junior golf. the junior landscape through improved data and insight. Ensure all counties, affiliated clubs and facilities are safe golf accredited and explore provision for other providers. To drive equality and equity in junior golf of our stakeholders. Strengthen the junior governance structure within counties and clubs. Increase the visibility of junior golf. Provide support to counties and clubs for recruitment and retention of juniors. Identify the workforce supporting junior provision and provide relevant training and education. Increase connectivity with the workforce supporting junior golf. Collaborate with Golf Foundation and other key industry organisations supporting junior golf. Create opportunities within communities for more juniors experience the game of golf. Support clubs and design initiatives and programmes to be more accessible to a diverse range of juniors. Promote the benefits of golf to juniors and their families. Align with the women and girls strategy to inspire more girls to play golf. Develop greater access for disabled people. Change the perceptions of junior golf within clubs and counties. Support talent development through a clear participation pathway. Provides inclusive and accessible championships and competitions for junior golfers. Giving young people a platform to inspire the next generation of junior golfers.
Hello everybody, welcome back to the English Under 18 Championship at Hodgkin Course National Golf Centre, Woodall Spa. Now I'm delighted to say we've got a very special guest up here, uh, Stephen Hyde, former captain I believe as well. We're going to have a quick word with him just before this group uh, head off. Stephen, yeah. thank you so much for uh, taking the time to talk to us because you're, yeah, actually, no uh, you're going to be a busy man today actually aren't you? You're, you're up at the 6th from 12 though. I was at the 6 from 12 o'clock, yes, yeah. doing the scoring, looking after these young people, <laughs> our future Rory McIlroy's, etc. Certainly is now, of course, Woodall Spa, uh, a place you know very well. Tell us about your history here at Woodall. Um, I joined here as a junior member 55 years ago, 10th birthday present from my father. Um, so I've been playing here quite a long time, yes. was lucky enough to be captain um, four years ago, but um, unfortunately during the COVID yes. pandemic. Yeah. Oh. But I've um, been playing here a long, long time. Well, it's nice that we're back, and it's nice to have events like this back as well, isn't it? Oh, I mean, Woodhull's Bar Golf Club, world famous, and it's just yeah. great to see big competitions coming here. And, you know, this is the future of golf, isn't it? I mean, we're trying to get juniors into golf. I've supported juniors here, played in the very first junior competition ever at yeah. Woodhull, and it's just superb to see future stars like this playing. Well, it's certainly, I mean, we talk about future stars, you've seen Matt Fitzpatrick, of course, US Open, he's come through the England golf ranks as well, didn't he? So the future is very bright right now, I think, for golf in this country. Let's talk about the Hodgkin course, because it's difficult, isn't it? Um, <laughs> yes, OK, I've played it 55 years. Have I beaten it? No. Um, have I have a shot can level you part? <laughs> you can beat each hole. I mean, yes, you yeah. can say I've birded every hole, eagled a few of them, but have you ever put it together? No. It's a championship course for a reason, yeah. and um, it's a classic championship course. You yeah. know, it's been here over a hundred years, and whenever you play it, you can get hairs on the back of your neck. You never yeah. play the same shot twice. The wind plays a major factor at yeah. Woodall, um, and the greens can be very subtle. You know, you think you've got a straight yeah. put, and the, the thing moves at the last minute. Yeah. And the bunkers are world famous again for the depth of them. Yeah. Um, people just cannot believe that you've got bunkers that are like 12 feet deep. Well, you go to some courses, don't you? You get in the sand, and, and it's actually sometimes it's better to be in the bunker than, than in the rough. But here, I mean, the depth, well, I've seen some people, and you get in there, you're, you're in trouble. Aren't you? Oh, yes. I mean, the 12th hole on the Hotchkin has always been world famous. Peter Alice classed it as one of the best short holes in the world. Mm. And the bunker then was just over 12 feet deep. So you went left of that green. I mean, we've, we've seen scores in championship competitions of 12 plus yeah. um, once you get in that bunker. People say, how do you play Woodall? Well, you don't go in the bunkers. Accuracy. Accuracy, Accuracy is good. Yeah. This is why I've only seen Driver about twice, I think, in, in the day and a half we've had so far. Uh, Stephen, best thing about being a member here, what would you say at Woodall? The best thing about being a member at Woodall is obviously the championship course that you've got. We have a second course with yep. the Bracken. Um, how many courses, that can, you know, clubs can you have two courses? Yep. We have great facilities. I think one of the things, because England golf are here, is we have superb training facilities and practice yep. facilities. Um, track man on every, every bay that you play in there. Yep. We're superb, playing with tightless it? balls. You know, we've, we've got great facilities. And the greenkeepers here... Um, it, you, you know, to keep a championship course, you need to have top yep. people, and um, we're very lucky, I think, with that. You know, I've got a nice relationship, I think, with our green keepers. You know, I've seen them come through the years, and we're not a championship course because we've got bad greens or because we've yes. uh, you know, got furry fairways. This is a, a championship course because it's well looked after, and that's the beauty of being a member. You, you've got great facilities all the time. Fantastic, Stephen. Thank you so much for your time. Like I said, I know you, you need to get off to the sick shortly, don't you, actually? Yes. Have some lunch as well, because it's going to be a long afternoon, I think. Uh, but we think the wind's going to get up this afternoon. It's going to be oh, a it's going to be fun, there, isn't it? It's going to be fun. And I'm looking out for the next sort of um, Georgia Hall or, or see, see if we can put some out there. who might win the They're Open. Out there. Yeah. They're out there. <laughs> Great talking to you. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much Stephen. Really Thank do you. appreciate it. So whilst we're down at the first, actually, we'll just watch this group tee off, uh, shall we? And then we're going to take you for a little tour around uh, Woodall Spa, just, just behind the scenes, nothing uh, too extravagant, but just here at the clubhouse where we're based, actually at the back, we've got the England Golf HQ, we'll let you see that from the outside as well, but here we are on the Hotchkin course, what time are we now? We're getting on for 11.20, so I'll tell you who this is going to be, um, it is, uh, oh it's Bailey Pike, it's Bailey Pike, William Horn and Luke Jenkins, so uh, how's that for timing Bailey? <laughs> How do I do it? <laughs> 
So you're 11.22, so I'm about to get underway. Uh, but a little, little bit of bonus stuff. Great to hear from Stephen. He's, as I said, he's been a member here for 55 years. Championship course, the Hodgkin course, the National Golf Centre here at Woodall Spa. A special place indeed here. And it's a special tournament, the English Under-18 Championship. It's day two. We are live. We are live now at the first. And you are looking at your 11.20 tee time. Bailey Pike from Oberstone Park, William Horn from Orsett, and Luke Jenkins from Rochester and Common Park and they are literally a minute away from getting underway. I can just see uh, Morgan Blythe actually, uh, Madeline Smith there, just finishing up. They were the second group out today. We caught up with Morgan a little bit earlier too. We are going to stay live throughout the whole day today as well. We're not going to break off. We're going to piece together the content too, so if you do want to watch any of this back, you can do. We'll uh, clip it up into snippets uh, after the event, but just keep it on in the background. Why not? Have your say as well. Do make sure you comment. We can see the comments. We want to hear from you. Show your messages of support for these players. There you go. Round two finished there for Madeline Smith, Morgan Blythe and Mika Blowers. And let's come back to the first because it looks like we're going to have Bailey Pike up first, are we? So here goes Bailey up first. We caught up with Bailey yesterday, 10 over uh, yesterday, not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Strong round today and you put yourself into the top 40 and make tomorrow's final day. Uh, William Horn now. straight down the heart of the fairway. And here's Luke Jenkins. Shot there, three strong tee shots here. There to go, the 11.20 tee time. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is just take you for a little walk here uh, round Woodall Spa, just a little bit behind the scenes. This is the first tee, as you can see, par four to begin with. Just behind us, we've got the putting uh, practice area there, as you can see. Everybody getting ready for their rounds. It, was st it stayed very busy, actually, even yesterday, even after all the rounds had finished. Of course, the early groups today went out at 7 o'clock this morning. That was the first group out. We've just seen the second group come home of Morgan Blythe, Mika Blow, and Madeline Smith. So the second group, the 7-10, they're home as well. And, uh, of course, it's only, what, nearly 25 past 11. Still a lot of golf to be played. Final group today go out at 2 20 so a lot of golf still to come this is the practice area let's just go for a little walk shall we and uh, i'll take you through uh, just a short tour just a small tour a little look behind us if you've never been here to Whittle spa before so we come uh, to uh, if you were to go that way we're not going to go there now but if you were to head down that way to the right you'd end up actually at the golf academy in the performance center we had a little look around uh, yesterday up at the driving range in fact do go back and watch that video we spent a bit of time at the driving range yesterday do check it out it's all across the england golf uh, social media and live sport now uh, on youtube on facebook uh, and uh, content live golf live golf now at twitter as well let's keep on going for a little while you're the way into the clubhouse over there this is actually the uh, the club shop we're not going to go in because uh, we don't want to disturb too much but just over here on the left you can see there's the club shop 
By the way, a big thank you to the staff here at Woodall Spa as well. Every day they've been so good to us. They sorted out, us out with buggies, everything we've needed they've provided for us. A big thank you to uh, the Unsung Heroes, actually, the staff here at Woodall Spa. You've been superb. Thank you. Let's just cut down this little alleyway, shall we? And we'll take you to the big screen where uh, a lot of people here in sort of the outside bar area, the outside terrace area, is a social hub and with the sun out it's only going to get busier and busier this afternoon. If you're in the area of course Woodall Spa in Lincolnshire, not too far from Boston, then do come on down higher. And uh, there is the big scoreboard as you can see, the English Under 18 Amateur Championship as you can see it is Saturday, June the 20th, that still says uh, Friday, June 24th for some reason. Now just to the left, that big building you see behind, that is the England Golf HQ. That's the headquarters there. It's not that exciting inside to be honest. It's nice, there's some trophies inside. However, it is just offices. So it's not the performance centre, it's not anything like that. So yeah, it is just some offices, uh, which is, yeah, there you go. Now let's just pop the camera over on the, uh, the little outside terraced area here. As you can see, it's beautiful now. Uh, it's only, of course, 25 past 11, but I can tell you by about 3 o'clock this afternoon, this is going to be absolutely heaving. Do come down, grab yourself a nice little drink as well. Why not? And come watch some of the best golf you are going to see. The talent on display is absolutely unbelievable. The maturity, the length these players can hit the ball. Remember, this is the English under-18s. You are seeing the future of England golf players. Uh, and we're going to end our little tour, actually, just here. This is where we're based as well. This is where we've set up all of our equipment. This is where the players come after the round, just through uh, this door and then through the conference centre doors. That is where the players sign their scorecards. Don't do that. You get DQ'd. And, of course, you do not want that. Right, Leon and I are going to go get ourselves a coffee now because we didn't get a chance to do it before. It's great to hear from Stephen Hyde. As I said before, this is behind the scenes at Woodall Spa, but we've got so much more on-course content to bring you. In the next section, we are going to be on the course with the 2021 English Under-18 champion, Jensen Forrester. He's two under par. He's right in the mix. He goes off at about 12.20. So we're going to be back live in about an hour or so. Don't go too far. Before we head off, we're going to leave the leaderboard up for you as well. We're not going to cut the broadcast, so just keep it on. Keep it on. Remember, do like, comment and share as well. We do want to hear from you. Show your support. This is the next crop of superstars coming through. You're going to be hearing about these players in 10 years' time. You're going to be like, I remember they're playing them, playing the England Golf, the English Under-18 Championship at Whittle Spa. I remember seeing it live. Remember these names. They're going to be superstars. Jensen Forrest is one. You're going to see him next. And whilst we play out, we've got a little video to show you about England Golf and together in golf. What does it mean? What is it all about? England Golf, they are really are pushing the forefront for this. Roll VT. We'll see you soon.
Well, welcome back everybody to the Hotchkeen course, the National Golf Centre, Woodall Spa here. We are live hole in one hunting at the par three fifth here. And uh, we're gonna see if we can catch our first ever live hole in one. We've never ever caught one before. Yes, it's day two here live of the English Under 18 Championship. So much going on. Top 40 go through to tomorrow's 36 hole final. Yes, 36 holes tomorrow. We're going to be live for that. It is going to be an absolute storm. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage so far. A little bit earlier, we came here actually uh, at the top of the day, uh, had a little look around, went down six, caught up with some players up at 16 as well. We've done so much. We had a little look behind the scenes as well. We had past captain Stephen Hyde. He joined us a little bit earlier for a good chat. We had a look behind the scenes at Woodall Spa. Now we've come down to five because very shortly we're going to have uh, Dylan Shaw Radford coming through. We're going to have the 2021 champion Jensen Forrester coming through very shortly. Uh, not just yet though this is your 11:30 group with Dylan Hussey, Chloe Talbot and Mark Stockdale uh, so I'm going to get out of the way whilst they play. How you doing buddy? Okay. How's it be going out there? All right. Yeah not too bad. Yeah uh, windy it's... isn't it now? Wind's picked up a bit. Um, yesterday I teed off at 20 past seven so ah. uh, no wind yesterday. You're experiencing it all then. <laughs> polar opposite today um, <laughs> but it's just about this course is all about sort of keeping in play and hitting greens and fairways. Um, yesterday struggled tee to green but putting saved me sort of scramble my way around um, and today sort of looking similar but yeah. hopefully change that and start hitting a few more greens give myself a couple of looks at birdie and then go from there really but it's it's tougher today even though a bit warmer and ball's going a bit further but the greens are starting to firm up and it's going to be tough to hold them especially downwind um, and with how undulating they are it's not going to be easy but they can be unpredictable can't they they yeah. really can yeah, it makes it a bit tough, sort of landing spots, because you're, you're five feet away from where you want to be, and yeah. it's polar opposite result, really. So, yeah. hopefully, we can sort of bat my way through and yeah. get some round. Yeah. Long way but, to go. Thanks for talking to us. Really appreciate right. that. Great yeah. insight there. Thank you. Uh, there we go. Good stuff indeed. Straight into the interviews here. The only people here, live sport now, that's as we get you closer to the action than anybody else possibly can. How good is that? 142 bunkers here in the Hodgkin course. A lot of them a treacherous as well none more so than here at the fifth as you can see look the ball just pops up uh, the pin is cut quite generously actually it will run a little bit as you can see uh, over here on the right now we saw this one land a little bit earlier before we uh, came back with the main live coverage i hope you've enjoyed it so far do leave us a comment we want to hear from you what we want to know is where are you watching from today do tell us are you at home are you at work whereabouts are you are you in england are you overseas are you uh, one of the home countries? Tell us. Please do comment. Tell us. We want to know how many countries we're broadcasting to in the world. We want to say a big thank you to our broadcast partners. Uh, we have Today's Golfer magazine, big uh, friends of ours, uh, Women in Golf magazine as well. Huge thank you to Women's Golf Network Europe. We're broadcasting to uh, Singapore with Golf Asia uh, and India with India Golf Weekly too. Big thank you to all of you for uh, allowing us to uh, broadcast the content across the world here of the English Under-18 Championship and look at that, what a shot. What a shot by that young man. So Dylan Hussey here, Chloe Tarbard, Mark Stockdale. We are hole in one hunting, seeking our first ever live hole in one on camera. 138 yard par three, fifth here on the Hotchkin course, a National Golf Centre, Woodall Spa. And the sun is beating down now. Glorious day. And a bit short there. Now, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody too. I've had a lot of messages of support coming in too. A big thank you uh, if you are wondering. It is my birthday today, so thank you so much for uh, all the comments and the nice messages I've had on my Facebook. Twenty-two years old. Well, that was fifteen years ago. You want to leave me a little message please do please do comment I'd love to hear from you make him nice though now if you're liking the english 
Under 18 Championship, what you've seen so far, why wouldn't you? There's a link in the body of this broadcast to the England Golf website. Do give it a click. There's so much information. You can also access that to full detailed live at leaderboard too. We've been broadcasting it out as well, but we're back on the on-course action now. Five under at the minute is topping the table. We've got a man coming up very shortly in the next group, Dylan Shaw Radford, who was four under yesterday. Uh, ended up being a joint leader for much of today because Mackenzie Lewis, who shot five under yesterday, uh, he's had a, not, not his greatest day. He's shot seven over, so he's now two over. Hopefully he'll be back tomorrow in the top 40 to uh, commence the final day. 36 holes. We are going to be live for that. You will see every emotion captured live with us. We are Live Sport Now, www.livesportnow.uk. Check us out. So there they go. Dylan Hussey, Chloe Tarbud, Mark Stockdale, they're your 11.30 tea time. Next on to the tea here, we have Grace Gallagher, Dylan Shaw Radford and Hugh Adams. Nice chip out there, mate. <laughs> just, just for the camera, eh? <laughs> We've got a lot of live coverage for you throughout the course of the day too. You can catch up with a number of feature groups, a number of players. As we said, tomorrow we're back live as well. So much live golf to bring you here at Woodall Spa. The ball's up in the air. Are we going to catch our first ever live hole in one? We've never ever caught one. And I'll tell you what, that is close. My word. I, oh, my heart went into my mouth for a moment now. I thought that was going to drop in. Sensational. And uh, a fantastic birdie opportunity here at five early doors in this group. If you joined us yesterday, we caught up with uh, Mika Blowers, uh, Maggie Whitehead uh, as well, and uh, Zach Little, and uh, we saw three birdies at the 12th. That was something. Do you think we could get it here as well? That would be good, wouldn't it? That would be a double bubble. Good effort. Stop, stop, stop. Just needed a bit of backspin. Difficult over the wind. It's flat though, this side. I don't know how well you can pick it up on the camera, but the front edge of the green, it's uh, on a separate tier. But where the pin is cut, it's quite a generous position actually. It's right in the heart of the green and it's very flat there too. Now we're going to have Grace Gallagher. Yeah, Grace Gallagher. Uh, Formby ladies. Dylan Shaw Radford from Huddersfield. We know Dylan. I believe he was the. Uh, Yorkshire Amateur Champion or Yorkshire Junior Amateur Champion. Uh, Hugh Adams from Hagley. Now do get your messages of support in for these players across social media. Wherever you're watching, drop a message. Tell us who you're supporting or just remember these are under 18. It's the English Under 18 Championship. They are the future of this game. They would really value your support. So please do like comment and share the content wherever you're watching it it makes a big difference to these players knowing that they're being seen we're here to uh, not just bring the uh, coverage for you guys so you can watch it at home or wherever you are oh what a shame it's going to rest on that top tier that forward that is going to be a real tricky putt there for grace and i think she'll be a little bit disappointed it didn't just kick on a little bit if it rolled down it would have been a lot lot easier she's got a difficult putt there it's going to be a tricky two putt for par uh, as I was saying, it just makes a big difference for the players. Just to have us here as well, the camera live in their faces, it's, uh, it's a tester for them. We all know what it's like playing golf. We all get the first tee nerves, don't we? Imagine doing it when you've got a camera live on you, broadcasting out across the world, and you're under the age of 18. Imagine how that must feel. These players handle it so incredibly well, but they would value your messages of support.
uh, Dylan Shaw Rashford in the white cap. going to see a bit of a monster putt here from Grace Gallagher. Just going to take a time to read this. It's on the upper tier of the green. How do you judge this one? Because it's going to catch the slope, pick up speed very quickly in the first third of this putt. Taking the time and rightly so. It comes. It's uh, just not got the. Is it not? No, it's not got the pace, is it? It's a very, very difficult part, and now she's got uh, a very difficult par putt. Oh, the sun is really beating down now. It's a glorious day. couple of par parts. We've still got a birdie opportunity to come as well. From, uh, I believe it's Hugh. That wonderful tee shot. She's left it short again. So Grace Gallagher is going to come off here with a bogey at the par three fifth hole here on the Hodgkin course, National Golf Centre, Woodall Spa. Now we always do a, a little shot of the day competition and so far I believe it's uh, Hugh Adams who's uh, winning it isn't it? go on drop good Dylan Shaw Radford gets a par here and now can Hugh Adams convert that wonderful tee shot and score a two here at the fifth Yes, he can. And Grace can, uh, unfortunately, bogey. 
Thanks for Grace, let me just grab you. Hey, okay. uh, Stephen, you right? Dylan or Hugh? Hugh, nice shot by the way. You're Hugh, just before you run off uh, very quickly, you won't notice, we're broadcasting live today and uh, every day we do a shot of the day. Yeah. And I want you to know you're winning it so far. So, uh, what was in your hand, Well, off the tee? That was incredible. Uh, eight on. Eight on. Yeah. yeah. You just got the wind right, you got everything. We've never caught a hole in one live. My heart was in my mouth, thought it was going in. Did you? Oh, I said to Dylan in the air, I thought, I thought I might have a chance, but no. Um, I'll take it nonetheless. Fantastic. Congratulations, well done. Uh, there is Hugh, he's uh, just uh, got a birdie here at the... Uh, Fifth. Now we're going to stay here, of course, because next group coming through is uh, Mia Clark and Cameron Young. If you're looking at the uh, the tee sheet and wondering where Amelia Wan is, she has withdrawn. So uh, this is a two ball here uh, of Mia Clark and Cameron Young. Uh, Mia from Hillside, Cameron from Salisbury and South Wilts. Uh, so there you go. That was a uh, Hugh Adams just there. Eight iron in his hand, eight iron. It is the shortest hole on the course. I believe it's 136 or 138 yards. But it is windy. It is uh, slightly downhill. Greens undulate quite a bit too. Uh, looks like Cameron has played his tee shot. He's uh, not a bad effort actually from there. Should be. He's got an outside birdie opportunity here. And here is uh, Mia Clark. She's coming to the tee. She's 11.50 tee time. course action here of the English under 18 championship the wind is billowing here it's only going to get worse as the day progresses last group group go out at 2 20 this afternoon of course we're going to stick around bring you live coverage all throughout the course of the day we're not going to break off we're going to stay live for a full eight hour show for you today of course we are going to uh, interlude it with the live leaderboard just so you can keep up to date but we'll let you know when the main on course action is going to come back stick around stay tuned oh what a shot as well there from mia clark wonderful stuff and could we uh, we're getting close aren't we leon we're getting close to this hole in one I'm, I'm telling you we really are we've been broadcasting golf live for three years now we've never ever ever caught a hole in one live and uh, we've done challenge tour We've done Clutch Pro Tour, we've done, of course, England golf events. We do a PGA Euro Pro Tour, and we've never caught a hole in one live. So the standard of golf we've been covering has been very, very high indeed, as it is here as well for the English Under-18 Championship, the 2022 edition. It's the second edition of the English Under-18 Championship. Last year, Jensen Forrester took the title. You are going to see him in two groups' time as well. And if we get a chance... We'll grab a word with him. We bring you closer to the action. Nobody else walks, talks, gets involved with the players like we do. We bring you a fan's eye view. You don't need to come because watching this coverage is just like being there, right in the midst of it. There's no studio for us. We walk the course with the players. We feel it. We see it. And we capture every emotion live. We are Live Sport Now. Do check us out on YouTube, Live Sport Now, or www.livesportnow.uk if you want your event or sports, anything covered live in the best possible way, then do get in touch. I had to plug, I had to give us a plug. I just had to do it. Here we are anyway, let's stick around here. As we said before, two ball, this Amelia one uh, has retired. Uh, well, she withdrew this morning from this group. So Mia Clark and Cameron Young, 11.50 tea time here. And Mia Clark has gone close.
a five under lead in the way. Tyler Weaver, Sam Easterbrook, getting the job done at the minute. Top 40 go through to tomorrow's play, a 36 hole shootout. And at the end of the day, we will have our English under 18 champion. You will see it live. This is Mia Clark. This is for birdie as well here at the par three fifth on the Hodgkin course. What a shame for Mia. It was an incredible tee shot. And uh, although you're normally happy to walk off with a par, I think she'll be pretty disappointed with that. A great opportunity to uh, pull a shot back there. Right, now straight in. No, no time to chat to them too, unfortunately, because uh, the next group coming straight through. 12 o'clock tea time with Drew Sykes, Olivia Lee, and Georgia Newbold come in here at the fifth. The par three, fifth. Drew Sykes from Goodwood, Olivia Lee, Jarrah's Cross, and Georgia Newbold, Oakmere Park. The group behind is your 2021 champion, Jensen Forrester. You're going to see him very shortly, but for now, here we go. Let's concentrate here. Drew Sykes, Olivia Lee, Georgia Newbold. Get your comments in. Show those messages of support. Are oh, we about to have our first ever live hole in one? Oh, my word. I really hope so. That would be incredible, wouldn't it? A few bunkers here as well, as there is at pretty much every hole. 142 bunkers here on the Hodgkin course at the National Golf Centre, Woodall Spa. It's a difficult track indeed here. If you played it, tell us what was it like and tell us what did you shoot as well. That would be interesting to hear. The sun is beating down, but the wind is high here. We expect the wind to pick up. More so this afternoon, now a little bit later on, we are going to be on the back nine. We've been covering a bit of the front nine so far this morning. Uh, from this afternoon, we're going to focus more on that back nine, catching up with the action as it happens. You will see it live, just like you're doing right now. Well, well off to the right there, well caught, Leon. Have you got eyes on it? Good man. I'll come round and uh, see if I can spot it. So Olivia Lee, Georgia Newbold, Drew Sykes in this group. Good shot. Safe. 20 footer there for Birdie. Make it sound easy. It's not, but they've got a better chance than I have of making it. Remember, this is the English under 18, the, the standard, the ability of these players is absolutely incredible. Golf, the future of the game is in very good hands with these players. It really is. You're going to be hearing about these players on the, the Ladies European Tour, the LPGA. The PGA Tour, the European Tour, the Live Tour, who knows? I've got a ball here actually. There wasn't one that came over here, was there? Ah. It's the Titleist 4 just by my feet. Um, somebody's uh, obviously lost that one. Uh, we had one land over here. Oh, yes, well spotted. Yeah. yeah. just stand here so they uh, can find it quite easy it's quite a flat green here as you can see a, a nice opportunity over on the right hand side the upper tier we saw a grace there a little bit earlier she ended up three putting for a bogey so it's very very difficult land it on the flat and it shouldn't be too much issue for these players to uh, at least two putt from here maybe even go one better got an outside chance of a couple of birdies here and uh, if we can get this one close we should see a, a very nice little up and down here Wind blowing quite severely now, sun is shining. It's a bit of contrast to yesterday, actually. There wasn't as much wind, although we didn't see much sunshine yesterday. It was a little bit nippier. Certainly a day for a tan, I think. It's actually quite a nice lie here, nice uh, little cut through too. You don't have to get it too high either, unless you really want to. It's in the rough, you can really get your lob wedge underneath it. Just 
there, mate. If you're on Twitter as well, do retweet this rover on England Golf, at England Golf. It makes a big difference to the players. Show your support for them. Like, comment, share, retweet, wherever you're watching it. We're on England Golf on YouTube, England Golf on Twitter. We're on England Golf on Facebook. We're at Live Sport Now on Twitch, if there's any Twitchers out there. And uh, Ian Waterhouse on LinkedIn. That's my personal LinkedIn. Uh, if you're watching this, we clearly share the same interest in golf. So uh, I would be more than happy if you... Uh, connected with me. Oh, he's, he topped it, isn't he? He's hit it too hard. It's going to run away, unfortunately. Come back, come back. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, it's going to just rest at the top of that, that top tier. Hoping it might catch the gradient and come back. It's not to be, unfortunately. So Drew Sykes, Olivia Lee, Georgia Newbold in this group. Bad effort. Oh, very good effort indeed. Both ladies smiling there. I think they knew it was close. Come down, it's a very difficult part, isn't it? I think you've got the line right, just not the pace, unfortunately. If you are watching this and you want to share it with friends, family, the uh, best place to watch it is head over to YouTube, head over to England Golf YouTube, uh, click on the video, it'll play, obviously it's just live, so it'll automatically come on, take the link uh, from the URL, and uh, you can just share that link out to uh, friends, family, whoever who want to uh, get watching the English Under-18 Championship. Day two live here, Saturday, 25th of June. 2022. Go on, go on. Oh, the line again was absolutely perfect. We've seen quite a lot of people leaving the putt short here at the fifth today. It's not just this group. We've spent a bit of time here. It's a wonderful hole to be at. It's one of the reasons we're here. It's uh, certainly a hole where there's a lot of action. John, oh no. And it's a drop shot there, unfortunately, for Drew Sykes. There we go. 
So the next group, uh, perfect time actually, because the next group are just making their way up. And in this group is the 2021 English Under-18 champion, Jensen Forrester. He's playing alongside Ed Davis and Sadie Adams. Uh, whilst we just wait for them to come up, uh, Leon, if you want to show everybody the tower over there on the uh, right-hand side, anybody who's not familiar with Whittle Spa here. Can you see that tower? It's very famous overlooking the uh, the third green here. Iconic actually, isn't it? For those of you who are uh, uh, a bit of golf geeks, you will recognize that even if you've not been here. It's the famous tower. It's known as the Tower on the Moor. Lies beyond the third green here on the Hotchkin course, uh, Whittle Spa. And it's thought to be a hunting lodge dating from the mid 15th century by, uh, for uh, a chap called Ralph de Cromwell. There you go. Uh, interesting stuff indeed, there it stands. There is, of course, uh, a fence that runs alongside it, so you can't really get close to it. But it is one of the most iconic structures you see on any uh, golf course in anywhere, not just here in the UK, but in the world as well, isn't it? It really is. It's up there like Emin Corner at the Masters. Uh, the Tower on the Moor at Woodall Spa is legendary across the world. There it is. It makes a, quite a, a daunting prospect, isn't it? It's quite an eerie sight to, to play under. It really is to see it in... Uh, in real life is, is quite something indeed. Whilst we're just waiting for the next group, let's just pop that leaderboard up on the screen very, very quickly, just so you can see how things uh, are looking. Of course, I know we played the leaderboard out in between the gaps, but it's like uh, Tyler Weaver, Sam Easterbrook going very well indeed. Five under so far, getting the job done. As you can see, uh, it's going to be tight. It's going to be close. Top 40 get through to tomorrow's final. 36 holes we'll be playing tomorrow. We will be live for all of the action. I think we take the leaderboard down, actually, because you can probably just see the group ahead on the fourth green up there, just finishing up. Then they're going to make their way down. And what we're going to do, actually, whilst we're waiting, is uh, let's just show you one of the bunkers here at the fifth. It's so steep, you need a staircase to get in, don't you? Look at that, it's incredible. If you get in there, in fact, I wonder if they're just putting the flag back in. I mean, I'm only five foot seven, so I'm not the tallest anyway. I'm probably not the best person to do this. But just look at it, look how steep it goes. It's incredible. I'll just stand here, I won't actually go in so, not, so, uh, so I don't disrupt it. Look how steep it is. This is just one of 142. There's another 141 bunkers. A lot of them are like that. In fact, some of them are even worse and more daunting than that as well. If you've ever played the Hodgkin course, tell us, what was it like? How many bunkers did you find? And is your wedge game up to scratch? Can you get out of it? Players just making their way to the tee now. Good timing. Thanks for that, Leon. Well spotted. And it's almost time to go for the next group. And it's a good one. 12-10 tee time. Ed Davis, Jensen Forrester, Sadie Adams. Jensen Forrester, 2021 inaugural English under 18 champions coming up now. Oh, I thought they were coming up actually, they're just holding out still. <laughs> That's a little bit, uh, yeah, a little bit quick off the mark there, but there you go. Oh, here they come now. It's good stuff. Just in the nick of time. Now, all of the content that we've been uh, recording over the last couple of days, broadcast on it will stay across the England Golf social media channels and ours at Live Sport Now as well. Do go back and watch it. Dude, we've got some incredible stuff. It's not just golf shots. We bring you behind the scenes look of the action too. Well, we had a little walk around Woodall Spa today. We heard from uh, Stephen Hyde, former captain here, yesterday. We had a little look behind the scenes up at the range. We got some great interviews earlier today. We caught up Emily Horstead. She's the England Golf Young Ambassador. We caught up with Nicola Whitehead, Maggie Whitehead's mum. And here we go. Your 12-10 tee time. So Ed Davis, Jensen Forrester and Sadie Adams. Ed Davis had a studly wood uh, of course, we know very well. In fact, we were there last week with the PGA Euro Pro Tour. Jensen Forrester out of Sutton Coalfield and Sadie Adams from Royal Birkdale.
just wait impatiently now. Amazing how quick the day goes, isn't it? It's almost ten past one already. Final group go out in an hour and ten minutes. A good friend of ours, Ben Bolton, just teed off. He's uh, marching his way down the first now. We'll catch up with Ben a little bit later too. Just as he struck the ball as well, a lot of wind just starts gusting around. It's gone a little bit long, isn't it? I think it's just gone to your right, I think. Leo, did it go into the bunk? I'm not sure. I'll come around and have a look shortly. We had two tee shots, I didn't see the first. Not uh, too busy gassing. So the players coming down now. Jensen Forrester still going well, two under par, tied fourth. He's right in the mix here, three off the lead, under par and uh, level par, probably plus one. You'll definitely be coming back tomorrow, although I think we've got a couple of tricky shots here. Uh, I don't think anybody's made the green, and I thought I saw a ball just go off to your right, actually, Leon. I keep, I keep bumping into this. There's a Titleist 4 uh, not too far from where we are. I keep thinking it. I've seen it about six times now. I'm adamant it's somebody's ball every single time. We're just going to go for a little walk, have a little look. Did it land in the bunker? One of them certainly has. And uh, we've just had a little look at these treacherous bunkers, haven't we? Now we're going to get uh, an even better look. Yeah, so it's right in the sand, isn't it? Jensen Forrester with work to do here. Oh, he's got it out nicely. Come on, run on, run on. Ah, oh. shot. shot, Jensen. I'll tell you something. Gets that up and down. You can see why he's last year's champion, can't you? Shots like that. Yeah, David says he's got. Uh, quite the shot here as well. Be. Just going to take a step back and think about it. It's 
stop, 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 stop. Oh no. It came out hot and it's rolled the other side. How you doing? It's great to see you, mate. Yeah, great to see you too. It's a cracking putt. Shot out of the bunker, by the way. It's only a good shot of it in today's rain, but yeah. Before I let you go, oh, good effort. Before I let you go, Jensen, how's the course playing different uh, compared to yesterday? Oh, well, a lot harder, I think, as reflected by my scores. But, yeah, it's way windier. I don't know what it was like yesterday afternoon, but it's probably like 20 mile an hour winds right now. Yeah. The greens seem a bit quicker, so it's definitely, and a bit harder, so it's definitely playing harder. Still a long way to go there, right? Still yeah, 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 yeah. I've still got loads of holes to play, so I'll be all right. shots like that and you'll be fine, right? <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you for talking to us. Great to see you, mate. Great to see you tomorrow, definitely. <laughs> Jensen Forrest today, your 2021 English Under-18 champion. Growing his hair a bit then last year, hasn't he, Louis? Brutal course here, Woodall Spa. We're on the Hodgkin at the National Golf Centre. And these bunkers, they've done it to us all, haven't they? They really have. To, to save par. Yes, what an up and down for Jensen Forrester there. Saves par here at the fifth. This has not been a nice hole for him, is it? He's still taking his time, but he's doing the right thing. Yes, I think he'll be pleased to get off here. He 
there is Sadie Adams now. the cruelest of cruel uh, right now let's uh, come over here actually we're going to stick around just watch what, you fancy one more group one more group i think yeah let's go for one more group coming through shall we the uh, next group coming through is going to be uh, jessica parker alexander maxwell and jack swift the one last chance here today at the fifth anyway it's not to say we're done we've got a lot more content to bring you throughout the day we're just going to watch these shots before we head off for a break we're not going to cut the broadcast though as i've said a few times we're going to stay live uh, let's watch these tee shots up here at the par 3 fifth for the hotchkin course woodall spa Oh, what a bounce. <laughs> that uh, bit of luck there. Cracking bounce there. Just what I needed. Jessica Parker, Alexander Maxwell, Jack Swift here. Seeing some great action here at the fifth, aren't we? The path red shortest hole on the Hotchkin course at the National Golf Centre Woodall Spa. It's a real, real treat. Oh, that's gone well left, I think. Yeah, and it's gone into the bunker, unfortunately. Here is Jessica Parker. Jessica from Haysham. Alexander plays out of Royal Fremantle. Jack Swift from North Foreland. I think this one looks quite good. She's held it as well. You know they think it's good when they hold the pose. And it is good. Great shot there from Jessica Parker. Good stuff. Uh, right, we are going to head off uh, for a short break. We are going to pop that live leaderboard up onto the screen for you so you can see how things are panning out. When we come back, we're going to start bringing you some back nine action as well. Uh, whilst we just make our way back to the clubhouse, sustainability is a huge topic at the minute. And England Golf are certainly doing their bit. I'll see you back live on the course this afternoon. Roll BT. We're all aware of the need to become more sustainable in our daily lives, to reduce our carbon footprint, to limit our use of single-use plastics, to increase biodiversity in our fragile ecosystems. All this while ensuring we're helping the local community and being economically responsible. Something else we need to talk about when it comes to sustainability, golf. As the national governing body, England Golf is making sustainability a priority. Our 2021 to 2025 course planner stated that we would advocate and inform on all aspects of sustainability. This was done as part of our role to lead, support, inspire and deliver for our community of golfers, clubs and counties. We're here to lead the discussion and show how golf has the power to be a positive role model when it comes to sustainability. The good news is by making small changes now, we can provide a bright future for the next generation. Our sustainability plan focuses on 12 principles to help the golf community on its sustainability journey. We'll provide information and resources to help you every step of the way. By working together, we can lower energy consumption, reduce our reliance on critical resources, and conserve nature, all while improving the reputation and longevity of the game. We're just at the beginning of our journey, and we hope you'll join us as we embark on the sustainability drive.
Gentlemen, welcome back everybody to the on-course action here for the English Under-18 Championship. We're here at the par 3 12th. We've got a lot going on off to our right. We've got the 11th green just behind us. We've got the 13th tee. We can see a lot of the course around here too. We've got the 9th green just alongside us as well and the 10th tee box. What a spot we've decided to pitch for ourselves here in the Hodgkin course, the National Golf Centre. Woodall Spa, what a treat we've got for you. You are looking at your 12, 10 tees. Well, Ed Davis, Jensen Forrester, Sadie Adams. We're going to stick around here for a little bit, bring you the on-course action as it happens live. This is now Sadie Adams from Royal Birkdale teeing off here at the 12th. It's going to come around nicely, high in the air, bit of wind over here as we've had before. It's dropping, there it goes, safely onto the green. The players making their way down here now. And it's uh, a tricky, tricky hole here to 12. It is a par three, but there's a lot of danger. You've got that super steep bunker off over to the right. You don't want to be in that. It could cause all sorts of problems. Now, the leaderboard, we've had it playing out, of course. As you can see, Sam Easterbrook, seven under par. He is in the clubhouse. He is now the clubhouse leader. He has performed an absolute wonder at the minute. Top 40 and ties go through to tomorrow's 36 hole final. Uh, last time I looked, the, the cut line was at uh, plus four. Of course, it's going to fluctuate throughout the day. But plus four, last time I looked, will get you through to tomorrow's final. Overnight leader, Mackenzie Lewis, not quite the day he was hoping for plus seven, but he's at plus two for the tournament. So he uh, should, well, he will be in tomorrow's final, which is very good indeed, very tasty indeed. But he's currently nine off the lead, so he's going to have to have an absolute worldie tomorrow, isn't he? But here come the players now. Jensen Forrester, your 2021 English under-18 champion, making his way round. We caught up with him a little bit earlier, actually at the fifth, the other par three, the shortest par three on the course, in fact, the shortest hole on the course. Uh, he was uh, plus three then, so we'll keep an eye on how he's going now. So over here we do have that monster bunker and it looks like we've got Ed Davis in it. Yes we do, you're going to see a ball pop up very shortly. Look at this. Oh lovely. Go on, go on. Shot Ed, nice one. They're really good, isn't it? Just look, by the way, just put the camera. Look how low down he is. Look how steep that bunker is. That is absolutely brutal. We saw Ed getting into a bit of bunker trouble at five. Uh, no such issues this time. We're going to see what our 2021 champ Jensen Forrester can do out of the sand here. Oh, Jensen just find a bunker every time. Great out of there. <laughs> we saw it at five, didn't we? Absolute cracker out of the bunker. He's done it again here at 12. I think he's trying to find these bunkers on purpose, is Jensen. There's 142 of them here on the Hotchkin course, so there's uh, enough to go around. More than enough to go around, in fact. Every emotion captured live here at the English Under-18 Championship. By the way, uh, we've been keeping our eye on the uh, English women to women amateur champ uh, final as well. Great watching that over on the RNA. But here we are. The future of the game is right in front of you right now. This is the English Under-18 Championship, and this is Sadie Adams. Oh, 
of great stuff. What an up and down that from Ed Davis. Oh, wonderful. Well done, Sadie. Par there, difficult. Wind has picked up. We've mentioned it a few times, but I spoke to Leah Rabano a little bit earlier, actually off camera, just bumped into her. She was signing her school card, and she said, even if you're just two yards off, you are punished here on the Hotchkin. Tell us, have you played it? What, how did you fare? The wind is up. Even the fairways are undulating. The ball, it can go anywhere, wherever you land. It's so difficult to pick your landing spots. And if you miss your landing spots, you, you need an almighty dose of luck. And it drops Jensen Forrester there. Good stuff. We'll let them come through. We've got the next group about to uh, pop through two of Jessica Parker, Alexander Maxwell and uh, Jack Swift. I'm going to have a quick chat with Ed actually, if I can. Ed, that's how you get out of a bunker, right? Good shot, yeah. right. We saw a couple of issues, of course, at five, but yeah. you know, you can do it. We've seen that. How have the bunkers been playing today? Been tough? No, they've been good. I mean, when on the fifth hole, I didn't have a lot of sand yeah. underneath the ball, but um, there was there was a nice about, but yeah, the bunkers have been playing nice, all of 140 of them. But um, That's a lot in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're nice bunkers, well cap, So yeah, yeah. really nice. Fantastic. Uh, best of luck for the uh, the final stretch now. Uh, good you. luck. Thanks I'll for talking to us. Really appreciate it, mate. Good to see you. Uh, next group on 12. As you can see bunkers are not as brutal as we might think. There's just a lot of them. Uh, there we go. Was nicely up in the air. It, it looks straight to the pin, so it's probably going to push left, I think. And uh, yeah, it has. It's gone into the rough stuff over on the left. We're going to see if we can spot it. So we've got some help over here as well to find that one. This is your 12:20 tee time. Jessica Parker, Alexander Maxwell, Jack Swift. one's coming around nicely I think this is a, a nice shot yeah it is look at that all right it just stopped off the front edge I think it's found it did you find it ah. here is Jessica Parker Got good eyes on it. Coming in, it's good. Great shot. Textbook from Jessica. Oh, really? It's a good job when you went back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. Uh, okay. This is, uh, you might want to come for this shot, Leon, because uh, this is going to be something to witness it's actually landed it's not in the bunker you might even wish it was in the bunker actually because this is very very tough indeed you've got the little ridge at the back here so backswing is going to be limited this is going to be quite interesting where do you go do you just go up here play it safe or do you go closer to the pin it's going to be a tricky shot indeed isn't it what would you do watching this at home comment below tell us we can see your comments we want to hear from you we also want to know where you're watching this broadcast from are you at home are you out and about where are you? Comment below. We can see the comments. We want to hear from you. This is your show. We are LifeSportNow.uk and we bring you closer to the action than anybody else that does. There's no studio for us. We are walking the course with the players. He's got your wedge for you. He said you left it at last hole. <laughs> So 
uh, Jessica Parker, Alexander Maxwell, Jack Swift. Yeah, there's going to be some difficult shots to play now. In fact, only Jessica, I think, landed it on the green. What a shot. <laughs> Made it look easy. Made it look easy, mate. Well, there you go. There's a lesson for us all. How to get out of trouble. in hand. Uphill, it's going to be tricky. It's quite flat when it gets there. Oh, it's a great read. It is a great read. Oh! Oh, that was superb. Come off quite hot and there's still a bit of work to do actually to save power here. Jessica Parker from Haitian. Again, pace was absolutely spot on. It just broke right, didn't it? Hopefully not too much work for Jessica. She should uh, get off here with a steady par. We're at the 12th here on the Hodgkin course, National Golf Centre, Woodall Spa for the English Under-18 Championship. We are live, as you can see. We are right by at the side of the green. No studio bring you closer than anybody else can. If you want to find out more about England golf, there is a link in the body of this broadcast. Give the click. It will take you straight through to the England golf website. You can also access the full leaderboard there too. Reed's going on, still a little bit of work to do, just moving the ball out of the way, getting his line in.
it's uh, for bogey there. But it's a solid bogey. That sounds silly, but could have been a lot worse from the lie where he was. Uh, let's just pop the camera over on the 11th green, shall we? The next group, uh, they're just about to come through. It's a group we haven't actually seen today either. So it's uh, Tom Scully and Isabel. Uh, Isabella Kent and Ben Willis. In fact, we haven't seen this group at all. Uh, this is our second day here. We were here live for day one yesterday. All of the content we filmed yesterday is across the England Golf uh, social media channels. It will stay there as well. And tomorrow, don't forget, we have the final. Yes, we have the English Under-18 Championship final. It is played over 36 holes. Top 40 in ties today will progress to tomorrow's final and we will be live. It will be an absolute classic. If it's anything like last year's, my oh my are we in for an absolute treat here at Woodall Spa you don't want to miss it and you don't have to either we will be back live for you we're not done here today though still a lot of golf to be played final group went out 40 minutes ago so as you can tell still quite a lot to happen out on of course Sam Easterbrook the clubhouse leader seven under par two clear of anybody else at the minute go he's had an absolute cracker today so he's definitely through to tomorrow's final cut line last time I looked was about plus four so uh, still a lot of golf to be played and a lot of players out on the course now who will be looking to make it through to tomorrow Please do comment below as well. Uh, we want to hear from you. Please do like, comment and share. It means a lot to the players too. This is the English Under-18 Championship. This is the very future of the game here at Woodall Spire. I've had the likes of Matt Fitzpatrick, Tommy Fleetwood, Justin Rose, you name it. They've all been here. They've all come through these ranks. And these players, you are going to be hearing about these players for the next few decades. I can assure you of that. And you will remember you saw them first at the English Under-18 Championship. Give them a helping hand, share the comment, get them seen by as many people as possible. We're here to broadcast live. We're also here to give the players experience of what it's like to play in front of live broadcasting too. So Tom Scullion, Isabella Kent and Ben Willis. Just finished up now they're making their way here to the par 3 12th at Woodall Spa. It's not a Hodgkin course, a National Golf Centre. It's going to be an absolute cracker. What have we seen? That monster bunker off to the right. It's caught a few players, hasn't it? Out. We're going to uh, stay here, watch the action. We're still looking for our first ever hole in one live. We would, did hang around at the fifth a little bit earlier. Go back and watch that. All the content for you, no doubt, will be posted separately across. The uh, England Golf channels. But, uh, we are best place to watch actually is either the England Golf YouTube channel or Live Sport Now on YouTube. In fact, if you go to Live Sport Now on YouTube and comment, we can see them. So we will uh, pop them on screen. Have your say. You're now looking at Jessica Parker just teeing off here at 13, par four. Good stuff. That uh, Jessica of a solid uh, par at the 12th. Great tee shot. Plum center of the green she was. She's just teed off at 13. And here we go. Now time for the next group to come through here at 12. Tom Scullion, Isabella Kent and Ben Willis here for the English Under-18 Championship. It's day two, round two, tomorrow the final. Oh, it's going to be a cracker. Your fix of Sunday golf live.
we go first up. Oh, second, apologies. Thank you, Leon. Oh, off to the right. Thank you. Yes, I was uh, actually just looking at the tee sheet, having my head down. This is a good shot. It's gone right off the tee, but it's going to come round. It's going to pull left, thanks to the wind. There it is, and it is a very, very good shot indeed. Here comes Isabella Kent, Castle Royal, Ben Willis out of Swaffham, Tom Scullion from Uphaven. Oh, it's gone short. I think it might have landed in that monster bunker off to the left. So a lot of work for Isabella Kent here. We're going to get a bit of an exhibition of how do you uh, deal with this situation as we saw previously. In fact, we saw two balls go off to the right, didn't we? This wind really is causing a lot of issues as we thought it might. We have spoken about it a lot, but it is a huge, huge factor here. Playing iron off the tees, as you have to do, of course, certainly on a par three. It just catches the wind, pushes the ball off. There's not much call for driver here due to the difficult nature and tightness of the Hodgkin course. And there they are, both balls in this absolute monster. Look, you could, uh, you could go down there, couldn't you? Nobody would see you for a while. If you fell in there. hide out there for months. You can hide a battle tank in there. You could hide a battle tank in there, absolutely. But of course it is a big feature of the Hodgkin course. 142 bunkers in total. 1905 Woodall Spa opened. There's a lot of history here. We're in Lincolnshire, the beautiful town of Woodall Spa. If you've never been, I do implore you to come along. There is the Golf Hotel next door as well. This goes to show how much he can be punished just for being a little bit off or catching the wind just at the wrong time as well. What would you do in this situation? I'd probably panic. Accuracy is so important here. We talk about it a lot. I mean, it's important on every course, accuracy, but you can get away with a lot. At a number of courses here there is no forgiveness whatsoever and we mean it as well when we say that oh lovely shot shot what a shot i tell you something with the speed of him as well there's no waiting around was there i thought he'd be gearing up taking his time now it's a harder shot for Isabella because she's closer to that banking. Look how open that club face is. It's just going to brisk underneath it. Oh, it's gone long, unfortunately. It's gone over the other side. It's so easy done, isn't it? Just to catch it and off it goes. We've seen it at five earlier today with a number of players. It's just so easily done. We've all done it. So your 12, 30 group, Tom Scully and Isabella Kent, Ben Willis. And Isabella is in a little bit of trouble here.
few comments come on. Margaret Carey's watching from Durham. We saw a bit of uh, Maggie Whitehead earlier on the close house. I don't think she's going to make the cut, unfortunately. I think she's plus seven for the tournament. Of course, uh, last year she was in that final group. It's not to be this year, unfortunately, for Maggie Whitehead. just needed to push on. We've seen a lot of putts just being left short. It's like the fear of going too hard, isn't it? Short again. And unfortunately for Isabella Kent, the 12th rather than the 13th has been unlucky. Ah, oh, good stuff. Great stuff indeed. Let's see if I can have a quick chat with that young man because one thing I was impressed with is confidence in the bunker. How quick he just set up and hit it. There was almost no weight and he caught me out actually. I thought it was going to take a little bit longer. He just went straight up for it. up we knew it was going to this afternoon probably an advantage to go out this morning Sam Eastbrook's seven under for the tournament quite remarkable I'd be surprised if anybody gets close to that today oh no oh no it's the only player to found the green and walks off with a bogey four Isabella Kent here, she'll just want to put this hole out of her mind quickly. Good stuff, in it goes. Let's have a quick chat with this young man as he walks off because uh, it was very impressive out of that bunker. We'll walk and talk with him because the next group are eager to crack on. Just got to talk about, we'll walk and talk to you. I just got to talk yeah. about that bunker shot because yeah. do you know what I was really impressed with is how quick you got it. You almost caught me out. So we just went straight in. Yeah, yeah. Just, that's just confidence, right? Yeah. No, I'm not a fan of slow play. So the quicker I can get to my ball and get on with it, the more <laughs> confident I feel really. How's it been with the wind this afternoon? It's been pretty tough. More tricky on the greens, I think, than the wind itself. Yeah. Um, but no, it's a great track and... Thank God the trees protect a little bit of the wind, otherwise a it little could be bit. havoc. <laughs> right, best of luck for Thank the remaining. Thanks, it. guys. Best of luck. Right, uh, yeah, good stuff there. Not a fan of slow play. I don't think anybody's a fan of slow play, are they? Yeah, but to be able to think, to be able to know where you're going to put the ball and execute it quickly and like that as well, uh, that goes beyond just uh, just having a, a bit of skill, doesn't it? That that's a real, real talent and an ability and forward thinking of course it doesn't always work but it certainly did then right now we move on to your 12 40 tee time we've got henry drake in here uh, two henry's we've got henry drake henry styles and ellen yates uh, henry drake from calcott henry Styles from romford and ellen yates from west hill ball's up nicely i think it might the wind's died down a bit i think he needs it to die down yeah good stuff I'm not exaggerating when I say if it had been blowing like it was before, that might have pushed into the bunker, but it's not. It's safely on the green. Still work to do. We just saw a three part from a roughly the same position in the group before. In 
the sand. Well spotted Leon. Now here comes Ellen Yates. It's a good shot from Ellen. Oh, just run on, run on, run on, stop, stop, stop. And it does, it just holds, does it? Oh, did it. Let me go have a look. Yes, it did, good. So uh, Ellen Yates, uphill there, one's right in the centre of the bunker, this monster. This bunker's seen a lot of action today, hasn't it? Thank goodness for the rakes. I hope they're heavy duty ones. Now the players, your 12.40 tee time, and the two Harrys in this group, Harry Drake, Harry Styles, sorry, Henry, sorry, did I say Harry? Henry Drake, Henry Styles, it was a very famous Harry Styles, isn't there? Uh, Ellen Yates as well, 12.40 tee group, final group went out today, by the way, at 2.20 in case you're interested to know. Tomorrow, top 40 and ties go through to the final. Uh, it's played over 36 holes, though, in one day, so that's going to be a cracker. We're going to be here live for that as well. You don't have to miss it. You'll see it all live with us. We are Live Sport now. Do head over to our YouTube channel, Live Sport now. Hit subscribe. Watch live golf in 2022. Golf, just like this, you're about to see now. Out of one of the biggest bunkers here on the Hodgkin course, the National Golf Centre, Woodall Spa. It's going to be a bit long, I think, unfortunately, isn't it? But stop, stop. And it's not a bad effort at all from there. You take that. You just want to be out and on the green. It's so going to be a tricky putt for par there, but it'll be a mighty up and down if he can make it stick. And don't forget to get your comments in, your messages of support. We're trialling uh, a new method of broadcasting today as well. We stayed live for the whole day. Normally we do segments, but we decided to, to give it a go, give it a whirl today and stay live for the entire day. Eight hours solid. Of course, we do uh, break up the, uh, the coverage with the leadable broadcast for you as well, but we decided to stick it out in one long broadcast and just see how it goes. there.
good stuff. That eliminates that. So there we go, it's this group. Uh, we're gonna go straight into the action, actually a group behind are lining themselves up. We're gonna stick around for this group and then one more as well because uh, somebody I know very well, Ben Bolton, is gonna be coming up very shortly. We're gonna grab a, a good chat with him once he comes off 12 before we head off for uh, another break. Of course, we will pop that leaderboard uh, onto the screen for you. So we're not gonna break the coverage off. We're gonna be live for the full eight hours today. Yes, you heard me right eight hours or one long continuous broadcast a bit of a trial for us already never actually done it like this before we normally break off the content just see if it works see if people like it uh, but tomorrow for the final because it's played over 36 we'll probably will break the content up for you but doesn't it means you won't miss any of the action by the way don't worry about that we'll just title it up different so you uh, know exactly what you're looking at but this is day two full coverage full live coverage for you of the english under 18 championship Good luck as well, by the way, to the two finalists in the Women's Amateur uh, Championship happening right now as well with the R&8. But our attention is right now with the Teenage Superstars, the future of golf right here, right now. Get your messages of support in for these players as well. That one pulled well left in it, straight into the bunker. Again, uh, once again, this bunker is causing all sorts of problems. It's one of the biggest and deepest here on the Hotchkin course, 142 in total. So the group you're currently looking at now, Sebastian Diozia, Elise Reimer and Jack Peters. Have a quick chat. Actually, I've got Ben Bolton's dad. He's in the group behind. Actually, I'm going to put him on the spot. I'm going to put you on the spot now. How's Ben getting on? Yeah, the wind's getting uh, playing its part. Um, yeah. He just got a little bit out of his rhythm. Hopefully, he can get it back in there. It's about four over at the moment, but you what's, know, solid yesterday. What's the life like of a golf dad? then because obviously you know Ben he's, he's incredibly talented that means a lot of tournaments a lot of weekends away right oh yeah I had the school phone yesterday I said where is he and I says because got, they got the schedule and uh, this woman did have it and, uh, and they said uh, I was talking to her and she's going oh he's got his mucks next week she said oh that's fine he's away in the tournament but he's got his mucks next week I said oh, I can do that <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it's come out like that but yeah it, it, it is stressful you know and the schools are understanding yeah, they, 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 they support they, they, yeah they really do support him um, we're really lucky with that. Uh, they're well behind him, yeah. as, as well as you know, we've got people that are really, you know, looking after his, his future and yeah. wanting to do well. So yeah, and it's, it's a lot of time. I mean, my son works, does what I do, so he covers that while I'm away. So it's yeah. pretty lucky in that respect. You know, it's just uh, you just year on year, just keep doing the same and yeah. learning. There's no handbook out there really for it. So. Well, the only thing I'll say is to, to you and Ben, when, when he's on the, the PGA Tour, European Tour, don't forget your old mate Ian. All yeah, right? no, no worries. I'll get you a pass. <laughs> right, let's uh, come back to the, the 12 here. That's, uh, that's Ben Bolton's dad there. He's in the group behind. We're going to hear from Ben shortly. So we are with uh, Sebastian Diozzi, I hope I'm saying that right, Sebastian, Elise Reimer and Jack Peters here at the 12th, uh, teed off at 12.50 today.
is uh, Elise just holding the flag, keeping it steady, ready to pull out. Of course, the rules of golf, you can still keep the flag in if you like. You don't have to take it out. A lot of players still prefer to keep it in. But likewise, a lot also like to take it out too. So here is Elise Reimer now. frustration there as you can see it's a tough old game isn't it it really is day two here live of the English under 18 championship the wind is blowing the sun has decided to do a disappearing act as the clouds start to form in fact we even had this lightest smattering of rain so a few spits a little bit earlier nothing major is the second edition of the English Under-18 Championship, the inaugural last year at the Farnham Golf Club. We were live for that one too. Jensen Forrester is your champion. He's been in the field. We caught up with him at the uh, start of this broadcast. We saw him. Uh, right, uh, this group finishing up. It looks like uh, we've got the group behind very shortly about to make their way over here they are and in this group is our good friend ben bolton from enville uh, joe sykes and maddie beeching as well maddie beach for bearwood lakes which is near us uh, joe sykes from goodwood as we said ben bolton from enville an absolutely beautiful golf course uh, but as i'm sure most people can testify if they've ever been there absolutely no signal there whatsoever uh, <laughs> it's a shame because it's right in the trees right in the heart of it is absolutely beautiful you just can't broadcast there whilst we uh, just wait for them to get into position. Let's quickly uh, pop that uh, leaderboard up on the screen for you, just so you can see how things are looking. Sam Easterbrook still leading the way. He's in the clubhouse, of course, at seven under par. He is, I would be amazed if he's not in that final group come tomorrow, 36 holes, top 40 in ties. Who is going to be crowned the English under 18 champion, the second ever English under 18 champion here with England Golf, where you're gonna see it and find out tomorrow as we bring you every emotion captured live. That's right, absolutely live and exclusive for you.
So here we go. On to the tee is Joe Sykes up first. So here is Joe Sykes on the tee from Goodwood. Par 3, 12, wind billowing. As he hits it, it's going to push off left. He's going to aim well off to the right. He does, and it's going to come round nicely, I think. I think that's a good shot. Yeah, there it drops. Stop, stop, stop. And it will do safely on the green. Here is Ben Bolton. This one's going to go left, unfortunately, for Ben. I think it could be in trouble. I think it's in the bunker. And uh, there you go. When we talk about every emotion captured live, that was it. It's a frustrating game at times. But we know Ben. He's got the ability to get out of there. Just keep his head. Now we have Maddie Beeching. This one's well left as well, yeah. And I think uh, that's in the bunker too. Let's go have a look. So I think we've got Ben and Maddie both in the sand. Uh, Joe on the green. In fact, Ben's, I wonder, did Ben's actually go in? Was it pushed off further? Yeah, they're both in the sand, look. I think too sure whose is whose actually I wonder if this one is Ben's in front of us or all back a bit. Ben. How's his bunker play? Just watched the video actually from Ben Bolton's dad. I just asked him how's his bunker play. He just showed me a video of him. Uh, his dad was filming it, stood in front of him, and Ben chipped it over him. That's confidence. is uh, very difficult. I think she might have to hit it on the down slope slightly to get it up this very, very steep banking here. Club face is as open as you can possibly get it. Get up, yes. Oh, sharp. shot for Maddie Beach in there. Here comes Ben Bolton now.
still trying to reach it over the other side. You've seen that once or twice today as well. Difficult and look at it. In fact, if you look at the mark in the bunker, you'll be able to see there's just not enough sand there, unfortunately, to slow the ball down. Not quite enough sand to fill the Sahara. It's so shallow. That's Maddie had uh, more sand behind it, which allowed her to get the club underneath, catch it, and that was uh, very, very difficult and unfortunate for Ben Bolton. Just tuning in, hello, welcome to the English Under-18 Championship. We've got a birdie part here for Ben Sykes. That's where Joe Sykes put his Ben's name on the event. Here's Joe Sykes for birdie. You can see how much the wind is fl blowing around now too. Off this 12 t you're, you're literally aiming well off to the right. If you don't do that, if you hit it straight, you'll end up actually in the sand. Now Ben Bolton, he's, out, he's down there somewhere, I can assure you that. It's going to come up. There it is. Pops up. Stop, stop, stop. It will do. It's going to stay on the green. That was the bar. sport don't we we love it in equal measure when it goes good it's a beautiful thing when it's going bad the emotions are true it's real we bring you the very best of that we don't hide away from it the players don't hide away from it this is unfiltered live sport for you no rubbish no hiding we're right in the heart of it here this is why our live broadcasting is the very best there can be no studio right with the players alongside them as it happens in the heat of the moment. Come round, come round. Oh, great effort, Ben. It's a hole to forget for Ben Bolton. He just needs to do the tiger ball. Ten seconds. Let all your frustration out. And after ten seconds, you've got to move on. Get over it. Six holes to play. Oh, yes. What an up and down there for Maddie Beach in. And this is also a par putt for Joe Sykes. He's the number one to have found the green. Yes, good stuff. Right, then you come with me because we are going to uh, make our way back to the clubhouse now as well that's not it for today we're going to have a short break we're going to pop the leaderboard up for you so you can keep abreast of all of the action as it happens then we're going to head to 18 catch some live interviews with the players as they're coming off at the end 
of day two here live for the English Under 18 Championship. We've just seen it all, haven't we? We've seen some incredible shots up and down, par saves, birdies, you name it. We've seen it. The drama is real. The emotion is raw. It's the only place you can capture true live sport right in the heart of the action with us at Live Sport Now, www.livesportnow.uk. Do check us out. Head over to our YouTube channel, Live Sport Now. We are broadcasting this on our YouTube channel as well, so make sure you hit subscribe and turn on those comments. Do, do, do comment below. We want to hear from you. We can show your comment on screen. Get your support in for these players. Remember, it's the English Under-18 Championship. It means the world to them. We're here not just to broadcast live, but to give them experience of playing under pressure in front of a camera across the world too. So we're going to head off. We're going to pop the live leaderboard up onto the screen uh, for you whilst we make our way back. We're not done with the live on-course action. Of course, we're going to head to 18 in a little bit for you so you can hear from the players as they finish up their round. Before we do that, uh, England Golf have been creating uh, a movement to be together. Together in golf. We've got a little video to play for you now. We'll be back at 18 shortly. See you soon. Roll BT.
Welcome back, everybody. We promised we would have some more action for you this Saturday afternoon, and we certainly have, as you can see, just coming down the 18th. We decided to park ourselves at 18. We have your 12.40 tea time of Henry Drake, Henry Stars, and Ellen Yates. We saw them a little bit earlier, didn't we, actually? Uh, we're going to grab a word of them as they come off, and Ellen Yates has just gone long here at 18. She's on the path at the back. She could be in a, a spot of bother, although I think she might have a straight. She might get a bit lucky. She get over the bush there. We'll have a little look at that shot. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is going to be a bit of an exhibition. We've got some uh, bit of work we're going to be seeing now for Ellen Yates to do. Hope you enjoyed the coverage over the last couple of days. Tomorrow, the final. Yes, it's the English Under-18 Championship 36-hole final. And you can watch it all live with us tomorrow. Live Sport Now on YouTube, the best place to go because there you can comment. And if you do comment, we can show it on screen too. It's also going to be available on the England Golf YouTube channel, England Golf Twitter page, uh, as well as Facebook, of course. We're also on Twitch at Live Sport Now, LinkedIn, Ian Waterhouse. That's me. Do connect to me if you're on LinkedIn. I would love to have you as a connection. We clearly have the same interests. Balls nicely up in the air. Look at that. Good shot. Stop, stop. Nice. Solid. So uh, we've got... Uh, one of the Henrys well off on the right. Henry Drake from Calcutt Park. Henry Styles from Romford. And Ellen Yates from West Hill. There, day two coming to a close. Top 40 and ties will qualify for tomorrow's final. I'm just uh, Yeah, I'm looking around too, actually. Let's see who's going to be playing next. Uh, I think they might let Henry go over there on the right whilst Ellen... Moves the ball. We're obviously going to have to move as well because we're going to be right in a line of shot. We'll move, Alan, don't worry. <laughs> and yeah, I think Henry is going to go first, isn't he? Uh, rightly so as well. Alan's just got to her ball. You'll see that shortly, but let's watch uh, Henry's shot here. Par five to finish the 18th here. We're on the Hotchkin at the National Golf Centre, Woodall Spa. Kick on, kick on. Oh, that's a wonderful shot. Very good round of applause there. Uh, let's turn our attention over to uh, Ellen Yates here on the right. As you can see, the ball went right, uh, and it, unfortunately, it got a couple of uh, unfortunate bounces, which just pushed it further on. So, work to do for Ellen here at the 18th. Hit. Stop, stop, stop. Good stuff. Shot. Good shot from Ellen there. Get away with a par here. Par five to finish here at Woodall Spa on the Hotchkin course. The iconic stroke index 10. Middle of the road sort of hole. Wind is billowing around here. A little bit calmer on the green here at 18. 
but it's been a big talking point and big factor in day two. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, what a shame. Make it, make it. Oh, unlucky for Ellen. It was a great shot from uh, a bit of trouble, wasn't it? The dusty path there. She got it uh, reasonably close and she's going to close out her round here. Uh, we've only just caught up with him at 18, so it's par five. I'm not sure if, it, uh, if that was a par or a bogey. You can see how much the temperature's dropped because uh, he's got uh, players have got quite the mid layers. In fact, it's the girls who seem to be a little bit tougher from the boys. They're, they're still in t shirts and uh, shorts and skorts, whereas the chaps have got the jumpers and mid layers on now. And it drops. There we go, another group home on day two. That's Henry Drake, Henry Styles, and Ellen Yates. Uh, I wanted to grab a quick word with uh, Ellen, actually, if I can. A few handshakes, let's grab a quick word. Uh, and a quick word, if we can, before we go. We've seen uh, sort of different conditions today. Sorry, a yeah, little hug there, sorry. Apologies, I do have a habit of just jumping in. Um, we've seen the wind cause a bit of havoc today, hasn't it? What's it been yeah. like out there? Um, it was, yeah, it was definitely different yesterday, and plus, like, we took off in the morning. Yeah. Yesterday, so we didn't really get any. Um, but it just required you to think a bit more. Yes, um, yes. Yeah. It's not so much about power, this course, is it? It's about oh, accuracy. Yeah. You've got to hit those fairways or you're in big trouble, right? A little bit off and yes. it could be big trouble. Yeah, um, for example, that was 17. Yeah, I hit it into a bunker and you can't reach the green from this point. Yeah. Um, so I just had to take the penalty, made a bogey. Um, there's not much I can do about it. They put, now to put in a good tournament, don't they, England golf? Oh, yeah, they already do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what's it like playing the Hotchkin? We obviously said we know it's tight, but it's, it's quite an iconic place, isn't it? Um, yeah, I think they've done such a great job with this tournament. It's not easy to run something like this. No, no. Right, I better let you go and sign your scorecard. Thank Thanks you. so much. Uh, congratulations. Best of luck as well. Uh, let's uh, turn our attention back to 18. Uh, the action comes thick and fast, doesn't it?
Right arm back, everybody. Here we are. Another group R home. And now we're with Sebastian Diaz here, Elise Reimer, and Jack Peters. Uh, Elise Reimer actually from Whittle Spa, so we'll grab a word of her after her round. Uh, Sebastian there. Good stuff. I'm going to have a quick chat with Elise Reimer if I can. Uh, Woodhall Spa is her home course. Let's have a quick catch up with her. Elise, quick word if we can, of course, uh, Woodall Spa, your home it track, is. but it's a, it's a tough place to come yeah, and play, isn't it? It's played very tough today. Yeah, the wind's definitely picked off. It's made it a lot harder than what yeah. where it was yesterday, but yeah, tried my hardest. So. It's been a cracking tournament now, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Under 18. Yeah. So what's yeah. it like playing in it? I really enjoyed it last year, and this year's been exactly the same. You know, The way they've set the tournament up with girls and boys, it just is really well run, um, as of all the England golf events. So, yeah. What I like to see, certainly behind the scenes, you might not necessarily see it, is there seems to be good camaraderie. Everybody seems to get yeah. on with everybody, don't they? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we, play, we pretty much play with the same people week in, week out. So we've all got our little friendship groups within, like, the tour, essentially. Yeah. Um, so it's really nice to see everyone and get together um, and just have fun like we normally do. So, yeah. Fantastic. Well, thanks for talking to no, us. I better you. let you go sign your scorecard. Thank, thank you very much. Great to see you. Thanks, you too. Uh, right, next group uh, have teed off here at 18 as well. Uh, that was Elise Reimer from Woodall Spa. Let's get back into position. Let's pop that leaderboard on the screen very quickly uh, just uh, so you can see how things are currently looking. There's still a bit of golf to play. Still a few groups uh, yet to come home. We've decided to pop down here. As you can see, we've got Sir Joe Sykes, Maddie Beach in. Ben Bolton coming down next, but uh, yeah, Sam Eastbrook, he has been flying, hasn't he? Yeah, uh, he's been uh, going at great guns indeed. Tyler Weaver's had a good day as well. So they are definitely into the final tomorrow. Top 40 and ties, as we said, will make their way in. I looked a little bit earlier. I believe that was around about plus four, but it's probably shifted a little bit since. So we saw this group a little bit earlier too. Joe Sykes, Maddie Beach, and Ben Bolton. Maddie Beach with that incredible up and down at 12, the par three from that monster bunker. If you are just tuning in for the first time, hello and welcome. A 142 bunkers on the Hodgkin course here at the National Golf Centre Woodall Spa. It is a real test, it's a real challenge. It's tight, it's narrow. Not really a course uh, to bring the driver out. You could probably leave it at home and it wouldn't be too much of an issue. A few opportunities to get the big stick out. However, this is all about accuracy, although with the wind, it has caused a bit of havoc today. That big bunker on 12 has had an awful lot of work. But here we are now down at 18. You're looking up the 18th here at Woodall Spa on the Hotchkin. What a beautiful sight we've got. And the players marching their way down now. Your one o'clock tea time with Joe Sykes, Maddie Beach in and Ben Bolton. Now 
if you've liked our coverage so far, and I really hope you have. Please do like, comment and share. This is the English Under-18 Championship. It makes a difference to the players as well, to know that they've got the support of uh, the viewers. So please do comment. We can see them as well, and we can put them on the screen. If you head over to Live Sport now on YouTube, hit subscribe, watch the content there, uh, open the chat section, comment in there. We can actually put your comment on screen. Uh, certainly a, a big one for tomorrow's final day. We're on Twitter at England Golf. We're on Facebook England Golf. We're on YouTube England Golf as well as Live Sport Now, of course. We're on Twitch at Live Sport Now and LinkedIn at Ian Waterhouse. This is the very best. This is the brightest future of golf right here. These players are absolutely sensational. Aren't they? You are going to be hearing these names across global tours in the years to come. And you've seen them first here live at the English Under-18 Championship. The ball fizzing off over there. That's uh, ooh, a bit of trouble here at 18. Was that Ben Bolton? We saw him have a little bit of a difficult time of it at 12. Uh, it's difficult to tell, actually, because I think they've all put their jumpers on from a little bit earlier. I think it is Ben Bolton, yeah, because he's got the purple shirt on. I can see him walking down now. So I think that was Ben Bolton there. That from the tee box, so that will be his second shot. So still opportunity here, it's not over yet. Shot level par yesterday, put himself in the mix. It was Mackenzie Lewis who was the overnight leader at five under par. Unfortunately, he shot uh, seven over today. He's still going to make the cut. He's still going to be here tomorrow. He's plus two, but it's, nobody can catch Sam Eastbrook at the minute. Three under for the day, seven under for the tournament. He has been on absolute fire. Can he bring his A game again tomorrow over 36 holes for the final? We will be crowning live tomorrow your English under-18 champion. You will see every emotion as it happens live, and it will be emotional as, as well. Do not miss it, whatever you do. Hit subscribe. Head over to Live Sport Now or England Golf. Hit subscribe to the YouTube channels, and you will make sure you don't miss any of the thrilling action. First tee slots are from 7.30, I believe, tomorrow. We're going to be live from roughly about 9 o'clock or so. That was a good shot there, wasn't it? Look, what a beauty. Ben Bolton, he's got the rangefinder out in the purple shirt. Claimed alongside Joe Sykes and Maddie Beeching. So Maddie Beechin in the black top. We've got Joe Sykes now in the uh, blue top sh and sort of khaki shorts. There is Ben Bolton. That's, that was his ball. You can't see him. He's over the other side there, but that's his ball. And it's uh, stopped dead, I believe. That will be his one off the tee over there to third shot, I believe. Beach in here again. I tell you something. Whenever the cameras turn on Maddie, she uh, she plays an absolute blinder, doesn't she? Although she doesn't seem too happy about it. Don't know why.
as we said, though, great camaraderie between all the players. It's really nice to see. They all get on so well. It's like a, a youth social club. Perhaps I'm just showing my age, saying stuff like that. Say hello. 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 <laughs> 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 the wind. Ben Bolton now, can he close out? Go on, go on. Oh. Get in, Ben. That's how you do it. Look at that. What's he finished on? There we go. Uh, I'm going to go grab a word with Ben. If you were hearing before, you heard a little voice saying hello. I actually had a chat. To, uh, it was Mackenzie Lewis's dad, and I assume what's his little sister. Come on, Ben. That's that's how you finish, isn't it? Right. Oh, that's a bit of frustration out in that last one. A bit of a relief, was it? Was that that felt good, right? As a, that's the only put I've hold all day, so. A lot of relief. Been chatting to the old man a bit, it's just wind, isn't it? It's been brutal today, isn't it? Yeah, I haven't eaten it well at all today anyway, so I didn't really deserve to play well. One of them days. I think you're on the cusp of the cut line, so you, you might be back tomorrow. Maybe. Might be. Yeah, maybe get a bit of practice, you never know. I'm you never know. To. It's great to see you, mate. Anyway, yeah, uh, you take care, won't you? Uh, we would. I think the next group uh, are quite a way back. I think what we're going to do is we are going to go to a uh, short break. Uh, when we come back, we're going to wrap up the day two action. Though there's only, literally there's only a few more groups left to come home. So a bit of on-course action left to finish up. We're going to head off for a short break. When we come back, we're going to wrap up all of the day two action for you. So you know how things will stand as we head into tomorrow's 
final. How exciting is that? Just before I go, if you do want to find out more about England Golf or you want access to the full leaderboard, there's a link in the body of this broadcast. It takes you straight through to the England Golf website. Do click it. It will take you straight through. You can check out the full leaderboard as well. We are going to pop the, lead, the live leaderboard back up on screen for you very, very shortly. As you can tell, though, just before we go as well, the English Under-18 Championship, it is junior golf at its absolute finest, and it's a big strategy for England golf. Got a little video to play for you now about how England golf are going to be developing junior golf in the future. Roll BT, and we'll see you soon. Increasing the profile of golf in schools and communities. Supporting the transition from programmes into club-based activity. Developing the workforce, supporting junior golf. the junior landscape through improved data and insight. Ensure all counties, affiliated clubs and facilities are safe golf accredited and explore provision for other providers. To drive equality and equity in junior golf with our stakeholders. Strengthen the junior governance structure within counties and clubs. Increase the visibility of junior golf. Provide support to counties and clubs for recruitment and retention of juniors. Identify the workforce supporting junior provision and provide relevant training and education. Increase connectivity with the workforce supporting junior golf. Collaborate with Golf Foundation and other key industry organisations supporting junior golf. Create opportunities within communities for more juniors experience the game of golf. Support clubs and design initiatives and programmes to be more accessible to a diverse range of juniors. Promote the benefits of golf to juniors and their families. Align with the women and girls strategy to inspire more girls to play golf. Develop greater access for disabled people. Change the perceptions of junior golf within clubs and counties. Support talent development through a clear participation pathway. Provides inclusive and accessible championships and competitions for junior golfers. Giving young people a platform to inspire the next generation of junior golfers.
Welcome back everybody to the Hotchkin course, the National Golf Centre Woodall Spa. We're on the roof actually uh, of one of the buildings here overlooking the 18th. It's actually beautiful, isn't it? There is the putting practice green as well, just in front of us, still getting a lot of work. Top 40 in ties for tomorrow, getting themselves geared up. Just a couple of groups left to finish up. Nothing particularly uh, major left out on the course. Harry Mullin, of course, we're just waiting for his score. He was four under, he's been going very well. He's gonna be right at the top. Is that gonna drop? Oh my word, that is agonizingly close. So, so close indeed. We really hope you've enjoyed the coverage today. Day two is pretty much a wrap now. Uh, we're just gonna watch this group hole out and then uh, have a little recap of what has happened today. Uh, the big story really has been the wind. Yes, the wind has got up here in Lincolnshire and it has caused havoc across the board. Top 40 in ties go through to tomorrow's final. I believe the cut mark is at a plus six now. That's how much it's pushed out. At one point it was plus four. In fact, at one point it was even less than that. It's pushed out all the way to plus six. That's where we stand at the minute. Uh, ben Bolton, we spoke to him a little bit earlier. He's six over. I think he's just going to squeeze into tomorrow's final. What a cracker it promises to be. It's played over 36 holes as well. You don't want to miss it and you don't have to miss it either. We will be live for all of the drama and every emotion as it happens live right in the heart of the action. There's no studio for us. We will be on the course with the players. You will see it as it happens closer than anybody else can. There you go, that group just finishing up. Now, if you bring the camera round to me, Leon, you'll be able to see what the players are playing for tomorrow at uh, the English Under-18 Championship. Of course, last year was the very first edition. Jensen Forrester took the title then. He's been in the field. We spoke to him a little bit earlier as well. This is the trophy, the winner's trophy, the England Golf English Under-18 Championship. Somebody is going to have their hands on this. It ain't going to be me tomorrow, but one of these players are going to have it. They're, they're the... oh, oh, oh. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. I had it under control. Oh, no, I had it under control all the time. However, funny story about this. Yesterday, we were at the first tee. It did actually blow over. Uh, it wasn't me. It wasn't anywhere near it, I promise. But it did actually blow over. It would be funny if I actually dropped it properly now, wouldn't it? Actually, it wouldn't be funny at all. Uh, let's just pop that leaderboard up onto the screen very, very quickly for you. Know we've had it broadcast now quite a bit. We are going to leave it up as well, just whilst the final couple of groups finish up too. And Sam Easterbrook, seven under par. He has been absolutely flying hasn't he he's going to be in that final group can he convert remember it's played over 36 holes wow it's going to be a storm let's take that leaderboard down you're going to see you've seen a lot of that today anyway tomorrow we're going to break the content up as well today we've done it all across one stream to see what it was like really tomorrow we're going to break the content into different sections for you a little bit more digestible for you great to watch back as well now don't forget if you want to find out more about england golf or you want to check the full live leaderboard there's a link in the body of this broadcast to the england golf website give it a click the whole leaderboard you can check it all out you can find out what england golf are up to there's so much information on there tournaments coming up information about handicaps the eye golf you name it it's all in there it is a real plethora of information so who do you think tomorrow is going to have their hands on this trophy if i don't drop it and break it before then is Sam Easterbrook, can he close out? It's a 36-hole final. There's going to be a lot of live golf tomorrow for you. My word. That will be it. Tune in, England Golf YouTube, or Live Sport Now on YouTube. Live Sport Now, if you actually comment in the chat section, we can pop those on screen. So do get in touch. Do get behind these players as well. It's, they're under 18. They are the future of this game. You are going to be hearing these names going forward on the European Tour, on the Ladies European Tour, on the LPGA, on the PGA, who knows, maybe even the Live Golf Tour, whatever your feelings towards that are. That's up to you. Uh, but there we go. Somebody is going to win this trophy. You're going to see it live. It's going to be an absolute cracker. Day two draws to a close here at the Hotchkin course at the a National Golf Centre Woodall Spa. I've been your host, Ian Waterhouse, for the day. And until tomorrow, drive safely. See you in the morning from 9 a.m.
I love it. I got into it. It, it harnessed my competitive nature. I cannot recommend it highly enough. The sound of a club hitting the ball is right up there. And now I absolutely love it. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a video, you absolute golf life a legend. Farnham Golf Club and this is now the final showdown. Young Ambassadors here at the England Amateur Championships. So excited to be here and I'm going to be taking over the England Golf Cage to take from my perspective what I'm seeing out here on this beautiful course today. 